properly. And I mentioned we're going to begin with a gentle back bending or like gentle heart opening, which means we're going to use a prop, a block, maybe a book. If you have a yoga block, maybe you can also use it. And then you will find it right on behind your back. And then you will let the head come down. I know that some of you have been already here for a couple of minutes. See if you can stay there a little bit longer. Take a moment to settle down into your back. See if you need to move a little bit into your shoulders. Maybe you need to move the head a little bit sideways. Reposition your arms or your legs. Maybe it feels good to take a deep exhale of your mouth. And let your own weight come closer to the ground. Let the tension go away. And if you have your eyes open, I welcome you to gently close them. And try to slowly start bringing that awareness within yourself to observe how your body feels. To become aware of your breath, of your breath, sorry meaning the way the air enters your body, what part of the body moves as you inhale, and what parts do they move as well when you exhale. And maybe you wanna take this opportunity as well to try to make your breath equal in length, which means your inhalations become as long as your exhalations. If finding a number to count maybe helps you bring that balance, maybe do so. If not, just try to do it without any number, but finding that equal length gently and slowly. I would like to welcome all of you to this Power Yoga class. If it's the first time with me, my name is Jonathan, and I'll be teaching you this afternoon. And I hope you've been having already a beautiful Monday. And as I mentioned, we're gonna focus today on creating space on the front. So we're gonna go into some back bending, heart opening positions. And as we move into those postures or asanas, keep in mind that back bending releases and creates a lot of heat. So at some point you will feel the body start sweating even more, or you start feeling getting a little bit overheated. Whenever that happens, take a moment to just come back into your breath. Allow the sweat to flow through you and out of you. As a sign that something is moving, that we are activating our nervous system, especially as we go into the extension of our, of our back. And whenever you feel tired, you need to take a break during your practice. Please come down maybe to rest like in a Shavasana, a child's pose, or any other comfortable position of your choice. Listening to yourself, respecting the limits of your own body. And now let's enjoy our last 10 breaths like this in silence, in peace. And now very slowly take another extra long, deep inhale through your nose. And a long release out of your mouth. Start becoming aware of your body and bring movement to fingers and toes, to the hands and to your feet. 
If you're not so far from the floor, maybe you want to move the head gently a little bit to the side. And if it feels good, if you want to bring the arms above your head, let the arms come above you, lengthen yourself. Feel the feet on the arms moving away from each other, creating space in the front. And then gently bring again the hands down by the side of your body. Maybe you want to bend your knees and bring the feet into the floor. And then maybe you want to roll to one side very slowly and gently to the point you can then remove the prop that was behind you to one side and then come back again to roll into your back once more. Now, take some time to find yourself connecting through your back. See if you feel the need to bring the knees into your chest and give yourself a gentle hug here. Maybe you want to massage your back by moving sideways or alternating your legs, moving it close and away from you or even opening or closing them. Let yourself explore yourself. Hear a little bit how the lower back feels and how the hips and the legs are connected. Beautiful. Allow yourself to slowly release your feet onto the floor, but keep your knees bent. So think about which kind of alignment where your feet are hip distance, the heels are reachable by your fingertips, the palms are touching the floor. Now we're gonna begin by coming first to a gentle bridge where we're gonna hold for five breaths. So think about keep the shoulders connecting to the ground, press the palms into the floor, press strongly from your feet and with the next inhalation, lift your hips away from the ground. Now, if you feel the need to realign and readjust your shoulders, please do. Make sure you're always gazing up, never turning the head to the side and try to find more strength to your legs to lift your hips even higher. We stay here for three more breaths. And with the next exhalation, very slowly allow the hips to melt back into the earth. Now, try to avoid bringing the knees into your chest as we're going to do this a couple of times. But if you feel any residue into your lower back, maybe you want to windscreen wipe, wipe your legs to the sides. Now, let's return again back to the alignment of the bridge. So the knees are hip distance, they're pointing up. The palms are flat on the floor from both sides of your body. Now with the next inhalation, we're gonna press one more time from the feet and lift the hips high. Now you have the option to keep your palms like this. If some of you wanna interlace your fingertips behind your back and roll the shoulders, please do. Press from your legs, lift your hips even higher. Can you bring more awareness to your left foot and then very slowly try to lift your right leg into the sky. Then you can be bent to try to bring in the alignment of your hips. Take one more breath here, and exhalation, bend the right knee, make a figure four above the left knee, open the right knee to the side. Press from the left foot and lift your hips higher. Take one more breath here. On exhalation, release the hands if you have them behind your back and drop the hips to the floor. Now keep the shape of your legs. And if you wanna increase the stretch, lift your left foot on the floor, feel the legs coming closer to your body. And then may find the hold through the legs with the right arm the left arm from the outside and hold into your thigh or to your shin bone and maybe pull the legs a little bit closer to you. Be mindful of how much you pull and try to be gentle. We stay here three more breaths. Try to notice how this side feels. We take one more inhale and exhalation, release the grip of that leg, let the foot touch again the floor. Let's return the right foot as well into the floor. We come back into our bridge alignment. One more time, hands on the floor, on both sides of the body. Knees are hip distance apart. And with the next inhalation, one more time, we press from the feet and we lift the hips higher. And again, the option to keep your palms to the floor or change the crossing of your fingers and interlace the hands behind your back. Find a bit more strength through your legs and lift the hips higher first. Beautiful. Bringing the awareness into your right foot. See if you can take the left leg high. In alignment with your hips, strong right foot on the floor. Take one more breath here. On exhalation, bend the left knee and make a figure four, allow the left knee to open to the side. Press from the right foot, lift your hips even higher. Don't collapse here. One more breath. Exhale, release your hands if behind the back. Let the hips drop to the floor. Now again, if you want to increase the stretch, allow the right foot to lift. And if you feel the legs come closer to you, one leg comes from the whole of the legs, the other one from the outside. 
and find your thigh or your shin bone to connect. Use the arms to increase the stretch, but very gently and slowly. And we're gonna stay here for the extra three breaths. Take one more inhale. On exhalation again, release the grip of the leg, let the right foot touch the floor, and bring the left foot back into your mat. Now we come back with both feet on the floor. With the next inhalation, bring the knees into your chest, allow the knees to open wide, and then bring the soles of the feet to point high. Think about happy baby posture, and then the hands will come and connect into your legs, to your ankles, or maybe to the outside of your feet. Make sure the lower back is not lifting too much. Try to keep it closer to the floor. If you feel the need to move a little bit to the sides, to massage your back or anything of your choice, be mindful and take your time here. Slowly come back to the static position through the center. Now, can you keep the legs as they are and release your hands? So now the hands are free. With an exhalation, lift your upper body, lift the shoulders, lift the arms through your legs. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhalation, come all the way down, bring the arms above your head, bring the head into the floor. Now we're gonna do the same, but this time we're gonna turn. Inhale, lift your upper body, turn to the right side, bring the left arm to touch your right thigh. Lift your torso and exhale down. Inhale to lift the right side towards the left thigh and then exhale down. So think about we're doing gentle crushes to the side. So inhale, we lift, we bring the hand to touch one thigh and then down. So both arms come from the inside of one leg. Inhale to come up and then down. Inhale to lift, press the left arm to the right side and then exhale back down with the arms above your head. One more time with the left and then back down. Now come one more time through the center. Open the knees wider, bring both arms in between your legs and hold here. Try to lift your shoulders a bit more to the front, and we stay here for five. We keep breathing. Four. Feel the activation of your abdomen. Three. Smile to yourself. Two. A little bit higher. One. And exit slowly back into the floor. Take a deep exhale of your mouth. See if you want to hug the knees. Maybe some of you prefer to windscreen while you like to release more tension on your belly. Take an extra exhale through your mouth to release the tension away. Great. Bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And then take the hands behind your knees. And we're gonna use ourselves to rock a little bit on our spine. Bringing the feet above the head and then four. Try to allow the feet not to touch the floor as you come to the front. See if you can hold them and stop before they touch. See if you can come one more time forward. We hold the balance on the city moves for one more breath. And then we're gonna slowly find a cross-legged position so we can begin the practice by creating an intention and singing one up. So take a moment to find your seat, sitting nice and straight. Hands can be on your legs with your elbows bent, the shoulders relaxing down away from the ears. Take a moment here to close your eyes, to draw the attention within. Feel your spine lengthening towards the crown of the head. The city moon's coming down towards the floor. And from this place of space and stability, I would like to welcome you and bring with it both palms in front of your heart center. Press the palms against each other and then use the thumbs to connect into the center of your heart. Through the point of connection, we start feeling our heartbeats. And maybe you want to use this opportunity to bring an intention for today's practice and maybe for the beginning of this week. And from this place of connection and intention, let's begin the practice by taking a deep inhale through the nose. Blow and release out of your mouth. One more time, inhaling deeply. And exhale, letting go. 
inhale in out for on. With the next exhalation, let yourself bow your head towards your hands. As you feel your mind surrender to your heart center, you surrender as well to your practice and to your own body. With the next inhalation, slowly lift the head nice and straight, and then take the hands slowly down on your legs. Very slowly lift the head nice and straight one more time, and when you feel comfortable, allow the eyes to slowly blink open. Smile to yourself. And now we're gonna come into the beginning of our practice. So we're gonna come into a tabletop position, which means we're gonna shift the hands forward to the front of the mat. And we're gonna bring the knees back. The fingers are wide and open on the mat, right on their shoulders, the knees are hip distance apart. As we find our tabletop position, I would like that we begin with some cats and cows, but let's go into the first cow, which means we drop the belly, we inhale deeply, we open the chest, we lift the chin, and we try to hold it here. See if you can bring the elbows like if they were magnetizing towards your knees. So it's like we're trying to pull your arms back. Can you feel a bit more opening on the chest here? Can you press a bit more from the hands and lift the chest a little bit higher? Take one more inhalation here. And now we go into the cat position and we're gonna hold it as well around your back as you exhale. Bring the chin in towards the chest. Round and press from your arms and hold here. Feel the nice expansion and extension on the back side. And with the next inhalation, we turn again to the front, inhaling, opening forward, green space. And now we move for one breath on exhalation, we move in. And we try to find our cycle and our own speed, inhaling, green space forward. And with a long exhalation, we move in. See if you can do five more of your own. Bringing fluidity to your spine, bringing awareness into your joints. Trying to make one long movement come together with one long breath. Beautiful. And when you're done with your five rounds, we're going to slowly eventually meet into our table to the position. Now from our table to position, we're gonna allow the hands to walk even forward. We're gonna keep the hips in alignment with the knees and we're gonna come into hard melting posture, Anahastasana. We maybe wanna let the forehead drop in between the arms towards the floor. Maybe for some of you who feel quite flexible today on your spine, you wanna bring the chin into the floor. Try to keep your arms expanding and active towards the front and try to let the weight of your body sink slowly down to create space in between your vertebrae. Notice how it feels, where do you feel a stretch or the compression on the body. We're gonna stay here for five more breaths. See if you can press with your hands, lift the head off the floor, round a bit on your back and allow the hips to slowly start sinking forward and you will feel you will need to bring your elbows a little bit more to the front to come directly in towards things. So the forearms should be parallel to each other. The elbows should be right under the shoulders as well. Fingers should be wide on your mat. The legs are hip distance and they're active. Can you find more space by be pressing from the elbows, lifting your torso a little bit higher, feeling the space on your chest. Can you keep the activation through your legs? Great job, everyone. We take three more breaths here. Now, I would like to give you the option. Okay, we're gonna tuck the toes this time from this position. So we place the toes on our mat. Now we're gonna find strength to press from the elbows and from the toes, and we're gonna round the back, and we're gonna lift the hips. 
So we come into a forearm plank. Beautiful. Take one more breath here. Exhale, drop the hips down. Inhale to open into Sphinx. So pull the elbows back towards your hips. On the exhalation, round your back and come back into forearm plank. Inhale to drop the hips. So now we move through one breath. Inhale, opening forward. And exhale, press in front of toes, lifting your hips, rounding your back. See if you can do three more like this with your own breath. Inhale, opening forward. And exhale as you come into forearm plank, round your back, press the belly in. Inhale to the front. And exhale. Doing at your own breath, doing your last one. And after the last one, we're going to return back one more time into a sphinx. We're going to tuck the toes one more time. We activate the legs. We press the elbows a bit more. We lift the chest. If we feel that we need to go a little bit deeper, we want to go and explore a bit more in the back. See if what happens when you press the hands and maybe the elbows lift off the floor, coming into seal. If that's too much for your lower back, then stay lower with your elbows slightly bent. Breathe here for three more times. And last one. And with the next exhalation, we slowly come all the way down. We position our body so then we can keep the chin inside of the mat. And this time we're going to take the arms forward completely straight. Same with the legs. Now we're going to do a little bit of Superman, but we're going to just lift one arm and one leg at a time. So think about opposites. So we're going to use the right arm with the left leg. So with the next inhalation, lift your head, lift your arm, lift your left leg. On exhalation, down. Inhale, lift the other one. Left arm and right leg, lift the head. And exhale, down. Inhale to lift one opposite. And then down. Inhale, the other one. And down. See if you can do it three more times with each arm and leg. Using the breath to help you lift. And exhalation to bring you slowly down. Great job, everyone. And when you have finished those three rounds, we rest, come back into the floor. If you feel to make a pillow with your hands on the front, on your forehead, please do. If some of you would rather turn the head to the side and bring the arms back, that's also very welcome. Take a deep inhale through your nose, deep exhale of your mouth, and maybe you want to shake your hips here a little bit to the side. Now, see if you can bring your hands by the side of your hips, palms are facing up. Now, we're going to try to lift the whole body and we keep the hips on the ground. So, activate your legs first, keep the chin on the floor. Inhale, lift the upper body, lift your legs at the same time. Lift everything away from the floor, reach the arms towards your hips. And we stay here for five. We keep breathing. Strong legs. Two. Three. Four, and five, slowly down on the exhalation. See if you wanna bring the hands under your shoulders and maybe come to a gentle stretch to your lower back, which means it's very comfortable and slow child's pose. See that feels good on your lower back when you feel you wanna wiggle the body a little bit, allow the forehead to massage on the floor. And then from here, round your spine, come up into your hands, tuck your toes. And we're going to come into our first downward dog of the practice. So slowly tuck your toes, lift your knees, and start extending your legs one at a time. Maybe walk in them here, that feels good. Moving into your head, shoulders, hips, feet, and hands, anything that feels good. Allow the movement to come. But stay conscious with your breath making the inhales long, exhalations deep. Great job, everyone. We stay here for five more breaths, either moving or being static, our choice. And if it's the first dog of the day and it feels too much to have your legs fully length and then bend your knees slightly, give space to your lower back. With the next inhalation, we're going to gaze into the hands and then very slowly we're going to walk the feet to the hands, taking little steps. 
And as we reach the front of the mat, let the whole body hang for a moment. See if you want to hug your elbows, bend your knees, shake it sideways or up and down. Make sure you're not holding any tension through your head. Let your head feel heavy. Release the hands to the floor. With an exhalation, let's do a half pull. If you want you lengthen the spine forward, hands on the floor and your shins lengthen to the front. Exhale to pull down. Two more times, inhale to create space, to find that space in the spine. Exhale to come down. One more time, inhale to lengthen. And exhale down. Keep your head heavy, bend your knee, and round to standing. Try to come super slow, keeping your head glowing towards the chest, allowing the head to lift above the rest of the body at the very end. Once you come up, maybe you want to lift your shoulders and bring them back and down. Maybe some of you want to lift your arms and take them to the sides. See if you need to shake anything or move the body to the sides just for a moment to find it becoming a little bit more loose, a bit more fluid. So then let's start finding our stand in Tadasana on the front of the mat. We can start with the feet together, feet hip distance or anything in between. We make sure we find a strong and stable connection through the feet on the floor. We draw that energy from the feet into the legs, we make them active and strong. Imagine the tailbone points a bit more down, the navel moves in, so we neutralize our spine. Arms on both sides of the body. And we're gonna move into a couple of hat and salutations to create better space in our quads that's gonna help us for the back bend. So with an exhalation, raise your arms this high, lift yourself up. On exhalation, bend from the knees all the way down, from the hips into the ground. Take a long inhale, half a lift, lengthen the spine forward. On exhalation, take just the right leg, lift it and take it all the way towards the back of your mat. Drop your right knee. On top your back toes, that feels good. Inhale, lift the arms, come into your low lunge. Exhale to allow the hips to sink a little bit deeper. One more breath here. Exhale, hands on the floor. Tuck in the back toes. Inhale, we're gonna come into plank pose. On exhalation, knees down. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale, we glide forward into cobra. Bhujangasana, keep your elbows firm, maybe lift the hands off the floor. On exhalation, slow it down and return back into downward facing dog. Finding our own flow back. Now we can take a deep exhale once we reach there. Great. With an exhalation, right leg high, three like a dog. Exhale, knee to the chest, rounding forward, right foot in between the hands, left knee to the floor. On top of the toes, inhale to lift the arms. Exhale again, low lunge. We take one more breath here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, left foot comes to the front of the mat. Half we lift on the front. Exhale to fall down. Inhale to come all the way to standing. If some of you wanna to come to a gentle dog and you push the hips slightly forward, you bring the arms a bit more back. Exhale, hands into heart center. Beautiful. We release the arms and now we're gonna come into the left side, active legs. Neutral spine again. Inhale, we reach the arms high. Exhale to fold. Long inhale, half a lift. On exhalation, lifting the left leg, we bring it all the way to the back of the mat, drop in the knee. Inhale to lift into our low lunge. We can untuck the toes. Exhale to sink down. One more inhale here. Exhale, hands into the floor. Inhale into plank pose. On exhalation, knees down first. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale, we glide forward, cobra. Lifting the hands off the floor. On exhalation, we find our flow back into downward facing dog. One more deep exhale here. And with an exhalation, left leg high, three leg dog. On exhalation, knee to the chest, foot in between the hands, right into the floor. Inhale to come into your low lunge. And again, exhale to allow the hips to sink deeper. And one more inhale here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, right foot forward to the front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fall down. Inhale to come all the way into standing, maybe a gentle back bend. Push the hips slightly, bring the arms a bit back. On exhalation, hands into the heart center. Release the hands on both, for a moment on both sides of the body. Now we're gonna do it one more time with each leg. We're gonna flow a little bit more faster, which means we're gonna just come up and down with one breath. 
So inhale, we reach the arms high, we lengthen the whole body. Exhale to fold. Long inhale, halfway lift. On exhalation, right leg back, run into the floor. Inhale to lift the arm just to come for one breath up into your low lunge and one breath to come down. Inhale into plank pose. This time with the next exhalation, knees, chest and chin directly on one exhale. Inhale into cobra, lifting the hands off the floor. On exhalation, back into downward facing dog. We take one more inhale here and a long release out of the mouth. Inhale, right leg high, three legged up. Exhale, knee to the chest, rounding forward, right foot in between the hands, left knee to the floor. Inhale, low lunge here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, left foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale to fall down. Inhale, press on your feet, come all the way to standing, maybe a gentle back bend. On exhalation, hands into the heart center. One more time with the left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fall. Long inhale to lengthen the spine forward. On exhalation, left leg back, left knee to the floor. Inhale to come into your high lunge. Exhale, hands into the floor. Inhale for your plank pose. On exhalation, knees, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale for cobra, lift the hands off the floor. On exhalation, you find your float into downward facing dog. One more inhale here. And a long release. Inhale, left leg high, three legged up. On exhalation, knee to the chest, left foot in between the hands, right knee on the ground. Inhale for your low lunge. On exhalation, hands into the floor. Inhale, right foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale to come all the way to standing, a gentle back bend. On exhalation, palms together into the heart center. Release the hands on both sides of the body. See if you want to take a deep inhale and long exhale. See if you want to close your eyes just for a couple of breaths. Just to feel the energy moving. To feel maybe the heat coming and moving from the inside. Maybe the sweat start appearing on your skin. Take a moment to find again the harmony of your breath. All right, then very slowly allow your eyes to open. So find yourself on the front of the mat and now we're gonna do one exercise that I learned from my teacher in India, which is very good to develop strength on your back, which is what we actually need for creating back bending. So I will advise you to start standing with your feet hip distance because we're gonna fold the whole spine forward, but very slowly. So if we have space in between the feet, actually we allow the hip to flex a little bit better to the front. Now find your feet hip distance. Look down for a moment into your feet. Find the toes spreading and connecting to the ground. Find the legs activated. Now bring the hands into your hips. Stand tall, press your feet and feel that bouncing effect that comes all the way to the crown of your head. Now, we're gonna move slowly and we're gonna try to keep the spine and flat and straight as we move forward. If you feel at some point, I'm just gonna show you, if you feel at some point, you start rounding your spine, then better bend your knees a little bit and find that length again on your back. That will be much more important. And I would like to advise you also, we're gonna reach at some point, that middle point where the spine becomes in the same line of the hips and we're gonna to try to hold there for extra five breaths, okay? So now let's come all to standing. So we're gonna do it together. The feet are connecting to the floor. The hands are on the hips, the spine feels long. And now try to manually move five centimeters at a time. So we inhale, we length. On exhalation, just five centimeters to the front. Inhale here. An extra five centimeters, just a very small movement. Inhale here. An extra five. Now start observing what's happening in your body, inhale. And you keep moving five centimeters at a time forward. Keeping the focus on your spine, still remaining long, the vision still coming forward. And you keep moving slowly down. 
If at any point you start feeling this is too much tension in the back of your legs, remember you can bend your knees to allow the lower back to find more length. And you keep moving on your own rhythm for five centimeters at a time until we find the head in alignment with your hips. When you find that spot, you're gonna wait for all of us to reach there. I'm still coming down, almost into that position. Now, if you have not reached that middle line where your hips and head are in the same line, try to bring yourself there. Now, keep that position. Imagine the crown of the head extends forward and we stay here for five, four, three, two. Feel the back side lengthening and stretching, two, and one. And now on the exhalation, we keep coming down for five centimeter times a little bit more, we find a bit more flexion. If you need to start bending your knees even more to find more flexion, please do. Inhale to find a space and exhale, you come five centimeters at a time. Now you keep moving and at some point you feel, okay, I cannot come any more down to the floor. Find your last position, the deeper you can go from your hips and then see if you wanna stay there for extra five. Keep the legs still active, the feet are still connecting to the ground. And with the next exhalation, allow the hands to come to the floor. Press the fingertips, inhale, lengthen the spine forward, gaze the front. On exhalation, plant your hands, walk your feet back, and let's flow to our first vinyasa with knees, chest, in or chaturanga dandasana this time. Inhale for a cobra or an upward facing dog of your choice. On exhalation, into a downward facing dog. Now, if you feel any residue on your back, maybe see if you wanna move your little body a little bit, move into your hips, move into your legs. Take a deep exhale of your mouth. Great. Now, keeping the fingers wide on the front of the mat, we bring the weight into the left foot with the next exhalation, we lift the right leg high, three like a dog. Hold it here for three more breaths, active arms and active legs, hips on the same line. And take one more breath here. On exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward, round and round, and then take the foot in between the hands. Plant the left heel on the ground, left knee, sorry, and untuck the back toes. Slowly come up, maybe hands on the front side, come into a low lunge. And once you come to this position, see if you can let the hips sink a bit more forward and down to the front. Great. Right forearm on the front thigh. Let's see if we can bend the left knee, maybe the left hand wants to connect into the left foot to find a bit more stretch on the quad. We can press on the right foot and bring the hips a bit more back to release some of the tension and then slowly again, see if we can allow, start allowing the hips to come forward to find again the deep quad stretch. Be mindful of your sensations. Two more breaths here. Take one more inhale and exhalation, release the left foot slowly into the floor, tuck the toes, bring both hands into the floor. With an exhalation, we lift the left knee, exhale here, inhale, bring the right leg back and find your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here. Deep exhale of your mouth. Inhale, let's flow forward. Let's find a plank position. Strong arms and strong legs. Spine in the same line. We take one more inhale here on exhalation. Let's try to come one forearm down and then the other one. We come into a forearm plank just like we did at the beginning of the practice. Now see if you can lift one foot off the floor just a tiny bit, and then down, and then try the other one, and down. One more time, lift one more foot, and down, and then the other one, and down. Walk the feet in, see if you can come into a dolphin. So we make a shape almost like in downward facing dog, but this time the forms are on the floor. Take one more inhale here, and exhalation, walk your feet back. Drop the knees into the floor, drop your hips, and come to Sphinx. 
Feel the front of the body opening. Shoulders and elbows aligned. Legs are hip distance and active. Breathe into the front of your body. And exhale slowly, let yourself melt a bit more down. Bring the hands under your shoulders. See if you wanna flow into down dog directly. Maybe you need to stop shortly into a child's pose to release into your lower back. But eventually, from your child's pose to return back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now we move into the left side, so one more time. Active fingers, active arms and, le and legs. We lift the left leg high, three, like a duck. Both legs are active, both arms are lengthening. We stay here for two more breaths. Take one more inhale. On exhalation, knee to the chest, rounding forward. And then the foot comes in between the hands. Right knee drops into the floor, right foot on tucks. And again, both hands maybe to the front thigh to first find that position where the hips sink forward. Observing how this side feels. Now left form on top of the left thigh, we can start bending the right knee and the right hand connects into the right foot. And again, we can press and bring the hips a little bit back first. See if the heel can connect a little bit closer. And then maybe from that position, we very slowly allow again the hips to come a bit more forward to increase the stretch if we need to. If it's too much, just stay behind. There's no point on reaching forward. We stay here for three more breaths. On the very next exhalation, we slowly release the right toes to tuck on the floor. We bring both hands to the floor. We're gonna lift the right knee. Inhale, bring the left leg back and then find it in your downward facing dog. Deep inhale and long exhale. And again, one more time for inhale into plank. Hold in the plank first. And now can you remember which form you bring down first on the other side? Now bring the opposite one first into the floor and then the other one and switch into your forearm plank. Strong arms and strong legs. And again, try to lift one foot off the floor and then down. And then the other one and down. See if you can do it this time two more times with each foot. It can be quick. It doesn't have to be slow. And then walk your foot in. Find your dolphin position. See if you can press on your elbows and bring more space for the chest in between the arms back towards your leg. We take here the last two breaths on the dolphin. And then very slowly, walk your legs back. Find your forearm plank for the last three. Two. One. Exhale, drop the hips down into the floor. One more time, we find our sphinx to find space on the front. Elbows under the shoulders. Legs are active. Lift the sternum forward and up. We stay here for three more breaths. We take one last inhale. On exhalation again, slowly lower down. Find the hands under your shoulders. See if you wanna come again through a child's pose first to release your lower back. If some of you wanna come straight into your dog, that's also an option, your choice. If you're in your child's pose, stay there for at least three breaths. then eventually start finding your transition into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now this time from our downward facing dog, we're gonna shift the weight to the right foot. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Take one more inhalation here, and exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward, run and run, and take the left foot in between the hands. See if you can plant your right hand on the floor, both, both foot are slightly gazing forward, and we come into warrior one, lifting the torso. 
sink into the front. So in our warrior one, we try to bring the right hip a bit more to the front. So we have to turn the back foot a little bit more forward. If that's very difficult, we can also lift the back heel and come into a high lunge position. Now, just making sure your hips are facing forward. See so if you can slowly take the arms up. And remember, you can lift your back heel if that makes it easier for your high lunge position. Now, take a deep inhale and exhalation, bring the palms together in front of your heart center. Inhale, look into your hands, reach the palms even high away from you and exhalation. Open your chest back, bring the head slightly back. Look into your hands and find here a gentle back bend for one, two, and three. One inhale here and exhalation, bring the hands behind the back, bring the gaze forward, interlace your fingertips, pull the arms away from you, open into your chest. Inhaling, exhale, folding forward for your humble warrior to rest on the front side. We're going from the inside of the knee down towards the floor. Keep your back leg really active and strong. We stay here for three more breaths. One, two, and three. On the next exhalation, release the hands into the floor. Now, because we have the right foot on the floor, think about right heel comes to the floor. We start turning into the right hand all the way, the left hand lifts, and then the left leg comes back into our side plank position. Take your transition slowly once you find your side plank. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, hand down. Inhale for your plank for a vinyasa. If you want to skip the vinyasa, you can come straight into downward facing dog. And if you're flowing with your vinyasa, remember to use your breath to guide the movement. We'll meet together, all of us, into Adho Mupeshpanasana. Take a deep inhale once you reach your dog. And fully exhale out of your mouth. Great. Now with an exhalation, right leg high, three leg dog. On exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward, and then foot in between the hands. Planting your back heel for your warrior one. And again, we slowly start lifting the torso, lifting the arms, sink into the front knee. Same as before, we make sure the hips are square. So if we need to lift your back heel or turn the left foot a bit more in, please do. Find that position first, equal with the hips facing forward. And from that place, then we allow the arms to come up. Front knees bent. We take one more inhale and exhalation, bring the palms together on top of your head. Inhale, look into your hands, reach the arms even more away from you. On exhalation, oh, lean back, open your chest, bring the gaze into your hands. Gentle back bend here for three more breaths. Take one more inhale here on exhalation, hands come gently behind the back. Change the crossing of your fingers. Inhale, bring the arms away from you, open to the chest. Exhale again, slowly come into your humble warrior, leaning with the torso at the front. And you want to rest on that front side. But again, going from inside of the knee down towards the ground. Strong legs here. We stay here, three more breaths. One. Two. And through an exhalation, release slowly the hands into the floor. Now, if you have your back heel on the floor lifted, keep the left on the floor. Turn the left heel now to the other side. Allow the right foot to start walking back. Right arm reaches, and then maybe right foot comes behind all the way from side plank position. Take one more breath on your side plank. On exhalation, right hand forward. For a vinyasa, or straight into downward facing dog. Inhale to open if you're flowing on your, on your vinyasa. On exhalations, moving back. And one more time, deep inhale through your nose. Long exhale out your mouth. One more time, inhaling deeply. And a long exhale. Beautiful. Now, Let's move one more time into right leg. Inhale, right leg high this time. Lift the leg even higher. Bend the knee and open your hips. Inhale, lengthen the leg high on exhalation. Knee to the chest, running forward. Right foot in between hands. This time we keep the back heel active and lifted. We come directly into a high lunge. Hips are squared completely forward. 
the front is bent. And with an exhalation, here we are the arms up. Now your whole body is facing forward. Take a deep inhale here on exhalation, bend the elbows, bring the elbows on the same line of your shoulders. Now, because we have the right leg on front, let's bring the left elbow on top and then find your eagle arms. So you cross your elbows, maybe the back side of the hand press, maybe for some of you, the palms connect. As you find your eagle arms, think about the elbows move to the front away from you. And if you wanna come into a gentle back bend, lift the elbows high, lean gentle back, bring the gaze up. Stay here, three more breaths, one. Strong legs, two. And three, inhale to come to the center. Exhale, release the hands into the floor. Inhale, three-legged dog, open your hips, lift the leg high, bend the knee. And now we'd like to welcome you to either stay here or you try to bring the right foot from behind the back into the floor for your wild thing, which means the foot touches the floor, the left foot points back, and then as you press from the feet, you lift your hips and reach the right arm above your head. Take one more breath here. On exhalation, start coming through the center, drop the right hand, square your hips. Maybe a vinyasa of your choice, maybe directly into your downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. And again, deep exhale of your mouth. Shake your body, move the legs, the hips or the head. Take an extra exhale out of your mouth. Great. Now with an exhalation, left leg high, three legged up. Bend the left knee, bring the foot behind, open to your hips. Take one more inhalation here. On exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward with truck. Bring the right foot, left foot to the front, sorry, for our high lunge. As we press from the feet, we slowly lift the torso. Allow the front knee to sink, the hips to square. And with the next breath, maybe we add the arm up to the sky. Take a moment to find your balance and your gaze to a fixed point in front of you. Inhale here, on exhalation, bend the elbows in the line of your shoulders. And this time we bring the other elbow on top, this, in this case, the right one and we find our ego arms. And again, the elbows move away from us to the front to create space. Inhale, if we wanna come into back bend, we lift the elbows high, we bring the gaze into the sky. Strong legs for three. Two. One. Inhale to the center. Exhale, release the hands slowly back into the floor. And then we're gonna come into three-legged dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. And again, first open your hips. And if you wanna come into a wild thing, the left foot will come behind you on the floor, turn the right foot to face the back of the mat, press from both feet, and take the top arm away from you towards the ground. You stay here for two more breaths. Inhale, slowly returning into your mat with both hands, with both feet, and maybe one more vinyasa if you want. If not, you can come straight into down dog or even a child's pose position. One more time, deep inhale through your nose, deep release through, you, through your mouth. Shake the body, move anything that feels good. For those who are in down dog, maybe you wanna walk Put your hands back to your feet and come to that hanging rock doll position where the body is simply hanging towards the floor. You can have your hands to the floor, hug your elbows or bend to your knees, make sure the head feels heavy. If you'd rather stay in your child's pose for those who are there, maybe stay there a little bit longer. Feel gravity pulling your whole body down. And then keeping your head down and heavy, bend your knees a little bit more and we're gonna slowly round the spine and come into standing. Imagine the chin glues to the chest so the head keeps down and only at the very end, we allow it to come above the shoulders. Take a deep inhale, maybe lift your shoulders, bring them back and down. 
See if you want to lift your arm and take it into the side, or maybe you'd rather move sideways. Move into your head or shoulders, hands or feet. Sick, which part of your body needs some kind of like release here. Great. So now, we're gonna come slowly into the last part of the practice, but I would like that we do one more time this back strengthening exercise, which means we're gonna come one more time with a straight spine slowly leaning forward every five centimeters. So now, if you found it was quite challenging, the last exercise, the hands on the hips, then keep the hands on the hips. If you feel okay, you wanna even bring more strength and try to challenge yourself a little bit, we can try to do it with the arms extending above the head, but just keep it in mind that at some point when we keep leaning like this slowly, it brings a lot of pressure to the shoulders. And if at any point that pressure is too much, then I'd rather you bring the hands back into your hips as an option, okay? So choose for yourself if you wanna start with your hands in your hips or you wanna take the arms above your head. Take a moment again to find your standing position where your feet are hip distance. It doesn't matter if you're on the front or the back of your mat. Connect to your feet. Bring that energy from the feet into your legs, make them strong and active. Now choose if you wanna begin with your hands on your hips or you wanna take the arms above your head. No matter where you are, think about creating length on your spine. Now, as you press the legs strongly on the floor, inhale here on exhalation, lean forward for just five centimeters. And again, inhale and extend another extra five. And we start moving like this, five centimeters at a time with air exhalation. And we try to move slowly. And we're gonna move first to that position where the body is parallel to the ground, which means the head becomes in alignment with the hips. We keep moving there, we're not there yet. Okay, beautiful. When we are reaching that position where the head and the arms or the hips are in alignment, we stay there for an extra five. We keep breathing here. Four, strong legs. Three, two, one. On exhalation, five centimeters more down. We try to keep going slowly. And then extra five. And we keep moving like this, slowly five centimeters at a time with air exhalation until we cannot come any more down. If you have reached your last point, try to stay there an extra five, as close as you can down towards the ground. If you have your arms extended, try not to touch the floor, try to extend them above the ground for three, two, one. Exhale, release everything down. Maybe shake the arms, shake the legs, shake into your head, take a deep exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhaling and releasing. Now it will feel good to turn a little bit into the spine. So keep the left hand on the floor, bend your left knee, inhale, reach the arm up and turn and gaze to the right side. Take one more inhalation here on exhalation, let's switch. Right hand comes down, right knee bends, left leg extend, inhale, the left arm reaches high. We take one more inhalation here and exhalation, left hand comes down. Both hands to the floor, inhale, lengthen half, we lift hands on the front of the shins. On exhalation, walk yourself either with your legs back or your hands forward. Maybe you wanna do one last vinyasa of your choice. And from here, we're gonna come into our last downward dog of the practice. So take your time to find the position. Remember the fingers are always wide on the mat. Hands shoulder distance, the feet are hip distance. The navel keeps moving in towards the spine. Make sure your head is relaxed in between your arms. And slowly find the stillness for the last five. Four, three, two, 
in one. Inhale, come forward into your plank. On exhalation, we're gonna lower all the way into the ground on the belly. So we can come down for five. You can use your knees for support. Four, three, two, one. And then let yourself sink down. Shake into your hips if that feels good. Take a deep exhale again out of your mouth. Now, we'll either we open up with the shoulder. So think about left arm extends on the left shoulder on the same line like a T. Right hand is on the right shoulder and then we're gonna turn the body. Using the right hand, keep the right hand on the foot. If it is better, bend both knees and stack the knees on top of each other. That helps somehow to keep the shape. For some of you, you wanna bring maybe the right foot on the floor and the right knee up. Turning towards the back side. See how that feels on the shoulder as you lean and you use that right hand, which is on the ground, to keep guiding the movement also to decrease when you feel this becomes too much. Then allow yourself to roll a little bit more towards the center. We take here three more breaths. On the next exhalation, we're going to slowly using the right hand to guide the movement. We come to the center, extend the legs, bring the chin on the floor. Now extend the right arm like a T. Left hand comes on the left shoulder, and now we slowly roll into the other side. And remember, you can bend your knees if it makes it not comfortable to turn and stack the body on the side. Take your time to find the position where you feel the nice stretch through the shoulder, maybe the compression on the back side. We take here the last three breaths as well. We'll take the last inhale and exhalation again, helping the left hand guide the movement. We come all the way to the center into our belly. We bring the hands under the shoulders and we're gonna slowly come all the way back. And then we're gonna sit on the heels. Take a moment just to sit straight for one breath. And when alone, exhale, you feel yourself grounding and coming slowly into a more comfortable neutral position. Help yourself with your hands to allow the hips to drop and we take the legs free. And from here, we're gonna come all the way into the back, into the floor. Mm -hmm. And we still have a little bit of time, which is great. So then we can still come for one more bridge. So think about keeping your feet distant. We're gonna slowly glide to the back. So we lengthen the arms as we inhale on exhalation. We crawl the table down, we round the back and we use the control of the abdomen to bring the rest of the body into the floor. Come all the way into your back. See if you feel the need to hug the knees into your chest and move into your back or maybe you wanna keep your feet on the floor and windscreen wide your legs. Now, we'll either we come back into the bridge position that we did similar to the beginning of the practice. But now we'll feel maybe the body's more open so we can gain a little bit of space. So one more time, your feet are hip distance, the knees are bent and they're pointing high. Now the palms are on both sides of the body, facing down. Keep the gaze always looking up, not turning to the side. And with the next relation, find the strength, ground your legs, lift your hips high. And again, either the option to keep your hand, palms on the side of the body. If some of you want to interlace the hands behind the back, roll the shoulders in and press on your feet and try to lift your hips even higher. This time we stay here for 10 and we keep breathing. Strong legs, don't let the knees open wide. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, 
three, two, lift a little bit higher, one, on exhalation, release the hands if you have them, interlace behind your back, and then very slowly drop the hips all the way down to the ground. Take a moment to let the hips sink down, but avoid hugging the knees, maybe windscreen by your legs if you feel any residue. Now, I would like to welcome you either to repeat one bridge for 10 more breaths, but if some of you would like to go into wheel pose, which means we're gonna try to lift the whole body by pressing feet and hands to the floor. So I'm gonna demo now the wheel, but if you feel okay, wheel is not today, go into your practice, then maybe repeat just the bridge. Now, for those who would like to come into your wheel, now your feet can be a little bit wider than your hips actually in this time. They should be parallel to each other and the hands, the fingertips should be able to still touch your heels. Now, same as with the bridge, the vision is always up. Bring the hands under your shoulders, the fingers are facing towards the shoulders. Palms are down, don't let the elbows spread to the side, try to bring the elbows up just like the knees. Now, let's move into stay. So first we're gonna bring the crown of the head on the floor, then we realign and reposition the hands and then we're gonna come all the way up. So first, press from the feet, lift your hips, bring the crown of the head on the floor. See if you need to walk or realign your arms and then press from your hands and try to lift yourself high. Now, keep the activation on both legs and feet. And we're gonna try to stay here for five. Keep breathing. If it's too much at any point, just come down. Four. Three. Two. One. And then very slowly come down. Try to tuck your head in, so then slowly you come on the back side of the head. When you come all the way down into your spine, maybe one more time, windscreen while your legs first, that always feels good, especially in the area of your lower back. And to the side body. If you feel the need to bring the knees into your chest one more time, bring them gently, don't press them so strongly because the lower back is quite sensitive, especially after the wheel. But then maybe massage yourself here with gentle, mindful movement. And because we still have a few minutes before coming to Shavasana, I would like to give you different options. Maybe you wanna come to a happy baby. Maybe some of you wanna do a spinal twist, which means you turn the body to one side. Maybe some of you wanna come into a, an inversion, like a shoulder stand or something else of your choice. So think about what does your body really needs here and how you can give it to it. I'll let you know when you have to come to your shavasana position. And make sure as you keep moving and doing your last stretches or last posture of your practice that you're really mindful and you keep the connection and the consciousness on your breath. Try not to force anything. See if the energy and the space that we have created can help you find the position where you're at. We have one minute left before Shabbat. And then maybe with the next five to 10 breaths, you slowly start coming down on your body to find the corpse pose, Shavasana, and where the legs open slightly away from the center line. Same with the arms, a little bit away from your hips with the palms facing up. Maybe it feels good to wiggle and shake a little bit your body here, and then let the whole weight bring you down. Take one more deep inhale to the nose, and a long release through your mouth. 
see if you want to close your eyes and allow yourself to find the space of stillness of relaxation of love and peace and i would like to mention that i will wake you up from shavasana but if some of you would like to stay even longer maybe you want to even just stop the meeting now so then you will not hear me when i wake up the rest in case you want to stay even for a longer maybe a 10 minute shavasana of your choice but for those who are with me and when i wake up at the same time just enjoy now the stillness the silence shavasana And then very slowly, maybe take again a deep inhale. And a long exhale. Start slowly becoming again conscious of your own body. See if you want to bring that consciousness to your toes and slowly start moving them. Send consciousness travels now to your hands and you allow the fingers to start moving as well. See if you want to move the hands, your feet. Maybe you want to turn the head to the side. Maybe it feels good to bring the arms above your head to stretch the body, long feet and hands away from each other. And then release everything here. And as you keep your eyes closed, first slowly bend your knees, bring your feet into your mat and then roll to one side of your choice. Stay on that side of your body. And as you keep your eyes closed, with the help of your hands, you're gonna find a connection to the floor. And you're gonna slowly press the floor with your hands coming up and find one last and final seated position. Where we try it again to sit long in our spine. Where we reach the crown of the head up, the sitting bones connect into the floor, the shoulders relax away from the ears. And then we lie with the eyes closed. We finish by bringing the palms together in front of the heart center. Reconnecting the thumbs into the sternum, to the center of the heart. 
to listen one more time to our own vibrations and to bring back the intention we set at the beginning of the practice. From this place of connection, let's take one more deep inhale through nose. Long release out of your mouth. One more time, inhaling deeply. And a long exhale to release. Inhaling for one on. Oh. And with the next exhalation, let your head bow to your heart center. Let yourself feel again that gratitude and love towards yourself here on the center of your body. Give yourself a big smile. Thank you for being here. Namaste. And then very slowly when you feel ready, allow the head to come up. May eventually open in your eyes. Allow the light to come in. I would like to thank you all of you once more for joining me in today's class. And I hope now you can leave this space and continue with whatever you need to do, but feeling a bit more open on the front, a bit more energized as well.